we are so excited to get this conversation going about shipping and logistics today. Hi everybody, I'm Lauren. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Something Borrowed Blooms. We specialize in rent and return wedding flowers. So we use premium silk flowers to build out collections and rent them to couples all over the US and Canada. We are changing the way modern couples plan and pay for their wedding flowers by offering a more convenient, sustainable, and affordable option. My name is David Zamarin. Uh, I run a company called Detrapel. We make all different types of chemical protective coatings, and we have a consumer side of the business as well as an industrial side of the business. Um, but from the consumer perspective, you can think of, let's say, Scotchgard or Crep Protect if you're younger, or one of these uh, stain repellent coatings that you apply to, let's say, your shoes or your clothes. Uh, we make the same thing, except we make a cancer-free version of it. Each of you have a really unique take on returns because of your business models. Um, so we'd love to hear how you all kind of navigate understanding and perfecting your returns process within the company, but then also communicating that back to customers. Um, and Lauren, we'd love to start with you because returns is part of the game, right? Yeah, returns has been built into our um, business model since day one. And that expectation for the customer is really clear. Um, you know, our whole model is built off of rent and return. And I would say thanks and hugely in part to Rent the Runway, our customers are really familiar with this concept now. Um, but the returns process is, um, you know, communicated clearly throughout the entire process for our customers. So there really isn't much question about what's required on their part. Um, we go through, you know, extra lengths to make sure um, customers are just like very aware. So they're getting text messages and emails and, you know, all the things to remind them right before the return is due. Beyond that, when they receive their package, um, you know, that experience kind of, the experience itself is like really lovely, but it also is very informative. So they have a packet of information. It has a return checklist with all the items that are required to be returned, in addition to their printed FedEx return labels. So it clearly says, you know, put these labels on your boxes now so they're not misplaced. Simply return all the items back into their original packaging and return a FedEx on the following business day. And so it really takes all the guesswork out of it. Um, um, and I think that's really important. And we also, um, you know, promote or highlight the FedEx um, app service so that our customers can kind of be in more control of their shipments and know that they can schedule a pickup or they can have it held at a hold that location if that's something they want to do. So just really being, you know, clear and um, direct with the communication about how the returns work and what the expectations are um, really has been um, a streamlined way to, to make that all run really smoothly. That's great. And kind of giving folks the tools, making sure they have everything they need to do this successfully, I think is really smart. Awesome. Yeah. All right, David, what about you? How do you all think about returns at Detrapel? There is a little bit of that expectation that if you build an amazing customer experience and you get the loyalty of the customer for life or for you know half a life, um, then it's worth it. And having a clear and convicting return policy that it makes the customer, uh, if you do right by the customer, that customer experience is, is remembered and you can build a customer for life because of that. And to us, the, the lifetime value of a customer is far worth it. Uh, far worth having a very clear and concise return policy that makes it super easy for the customer to return for any reason. Yeah, that's such a great point around cultivating trust um, and keeping somebody kind of for the long game. It's not just about that one transaction. If you have any other business questions, um, need any other resources, Axion Opportunity Funds, our team is always here to help. We've got lots of free resources on our site, so definitely check those out.